Here's a five minute walk through what a typical workflow of an event would look like in Curate. First off, we're gonna to go to the portal. We see right here that this is uh, the form portal and customers can be able to fill out their information here. When they submit it, it becomes a new inquiry within our system. Uh, you can be able to click into the inquiry to see the details around it. It looks good, you wanna move forward with it. We're gonna convert the inquiry. Now we're gonna call this a um, Pemberley Estates Wedding. And we're actually gonna duplicate it from a wedding template that we have. You're gonna have your own wedding template set up. It's gonna be for the February the 15th. And we're gonna put the event colors purple. Then we're gonna click convert the inquiry. And this is gonna convert this into an event. Now this is all information that pulls from our template event. And in this particular case, we decided to add particular uh, photos into our template event. Um, but let's say this isn't exactly what they wanted. Maybe they have a different photo that they'd like. You can be able to literally drag and drop directly from Pinterest into the platform to be able to kind of hit the look and feel that you're trying to get with this particular event. It's gonna pop up a box here that allows us to adjust the framing and really highlight maybe particular parts of this photo. And then we can actually even just use our color picker tool here to directly select what we want for this particular color palette. Super exciting and really efficient way to be able to begin the proposal. Maybe it's not Kelsey and Drew. Maybe we're gonna call this Lizzie's Wedding. And then down here, you have the ability to have your template text automatically loaded into here, uh, along with configurable and personalized tokens. So in this case, it would actually put Lizzie's first name, Elizabeth, in here in this. Um, and then right here, we, you even have the ability to maybe link something like a floor plan um, that's just, just, just hosted in Dropbox, but you have that ability to have that file directly here. You can be able to add dates and locations as you would like for really highlighting what's happening throughout the event. You have a dedicated mood board slash inspiration board here, um, as well as all of the details for this particular event. We've already got our payments set up, so we're actually gonna focus more on the event details here. We're going to hop over into our order and we see we have our bridal bouquet. We have this set up kind of as an empty spot um, for us to be able to add details. So I'm going to come in here, click on this, open this up, and let's say we want to start building this out. We're going to type in hydrangea. Let's go pull in, um, mm, let's go, actually, let's go pull in, there's a, a lot of these here. Let's go pull in ivory white hydrangea. And let's say that we need five of those. And then let's go pull in some, maybe some Lysianthus, some apricot Lysianthus here. Let's say we need uh, seven of those. And we can see right here, as I'm building this, I'm adding components. And these components are different for every single person. Um, but in our case, we could add things like florals or hard goods or uh, ribbon, things like ribbon or bases. All of that can be added to this recipe. And the great part is we can see that there is a recommended price of $120 based on the components that are in this. Now we did forget it is on Valentine's Day. So we're gonna go ahead and choose our holiday markup, which better reflects the costs and what we need to be able to charge for this. So now it's at $168. Um, be sure this is loose and flowy. This is a note maybe that we want to add to this particular event. So I've got all these pieces added now. Um, I've looked through everything. It looks like how I want it to be. Um, I'm gonna go in and uh, maybe I wanna have a different contract in here. I've got the ability to go into my contracts and I can just maybe pull a brand new contract from one of my templates here and plug it into here. I'm not going to right now because I wanna go to my prints. Everything's ready to go. Maybe I wanna order the flowers or set up my recipe sheets. I've got the ability in this prints to be able to generate whatever kind of files that I need to show um, to show what's going to be happening for this particular event. I can go in and I can say, let's call this a recipe sheet. And this pulls in all the components of these recipes that I'm needing. So this has all the individual ingredients that I've decided that go into these bridesmaids bouquets. Or I could um, select for a few different other options, like the components totals down here which a lot of our customers absolutely love, which basically shows you exactly how many tulips that I'm going to be needing for this particular event. You can completely configure this print to be able to meet whatever your need is for executing and producing this event at a high level. I hope this five minute walkthrough has helped you understand what the workflow could look like for an event design company.